I love you too. Um, yeah, I love you too. Um, I've been to the doctor. I've, um, yesterday I went and the doctor there wasn't available for the, um, the specialist. They cancelled and everybody. I went back to the and the lady told me I did not have an appointment with a nasty attitude and stuff. So I just end up have to leave. You know, there's one guy coming here was crying out that his eyes going blind. How they messed up his eye and I was so scared. And then the lady have a nasty attitude. And then when the man walk out, she were telling like the next lady that oh, we're not going to help him. We're going to send him to somewhere else. They wouldn't even see the doctor. And the guy came back and apologized and said, I'm out of frustration. Why even say nothing? But I got the antibiotic on my face. Why well, my face looks so shiny? Underneath my eye and over my eye, the antibiotic that they gave me to put on my eye. And I'm also doing the antibiotic um, tablets that they gave me also from the hospital. So I have to be taking the antibiotics and putting the antibiotic on my eye also for now um so i didn't get to see the specialist um actually today i went this morning again and yeah this morning is when i went i'm oh, yesterday i went yesterday and i went this morning so from the other day you saw me i had to stay in the hospital the whole entire night it was about um going about four o'clock when me get through and me came back in and get some rest and get up back to get back over there by by seven something to see the specialist but they had cancer so i didn't get to see them they get was canceled so I didn't get to see them, you know, in the, in the e-building. So I went back and, you know, like I said, the lady have this kind of attitude, whatever. And if I come and I have no insurance, but me getting insurance today. I'm working on that right now as we speak because I think I might go to a different eye place. And if I want to go back to the e-building, I'd rather do it in the hospital because, like the people said, I went back and they see the condition of my eye and the lady was like, don't worry about it. We're going to pay the bill. We're going to take care of it. So I got to make sure I have the right documents to deal with this because this is so unfair. You know, so by putting the antibiotic and so on, that is what it look like now with all the scabs and stuff come off of it. That's how it look now. I'm on the antibiotic pills. So we're going to take it from there once I get the insurance through and so on. Because, you know, I don't know too much about this stuff. When we go to the doctor, we go to the hospital, we go to the private doctor and pay cash. So, you know, so um, I'm going to do that. So nobody has no attitude with me and so on. Because I have the insurance, maybe they wouldn't be like that. Like, sit down no matter what. You know what I mean? So, um, and so on. So I love you guys, and I'm doing a bit better, much better, because, I mean, comparing the swelling, it's still swollen, but, I mean, you know, I can't touch with my hands, and I'm supposed to touch with the doctor, say. You itch a whole lot, so I have a lot of itching to do with sometimes I'm still like this. For the whole time, and the night, yeah, I scratch me, so that's why I know I have to go back to the doctor. And the doctor said that I have to come back to deal with this one, and my eye, but he want to deal with this one first. So after I get through what I'm doing, then I will let you guys know further what take place, because they say they will pay the bill. But I don't know if they're going to pay the bill. They're not going to pay me for my suffering and pain. I don't know. So I may find out what I got to do, what next, and so on. And I probably still have to go back over there. Because especially it's from Monday to Friday. So if I don't get through today, I can get through till Monday again. So probably I'll go back over there Monday, if anything, whether I have the insurance on. You know, because I'd rather do it in the hospital than a private doctor. Because of the hospital, been at an emergency room over there and everything. And this, then send me to the next side of the building. I'd rather just do everything there. So I think I'll go back there on Monday and so on so god bless you and i love you all i didn't buy no chicken today um i feel like i need some curry chicken and i went to buy the chicken but they were delivering the chicken and it was a lots of chicken and then this guy that i know um came up and he was talking and saying something to the guy and then he was like you know why even buying chicken after the chicken come out of the truck and all this stuff and you're gonna eat you know i feel good eating that and i was like you know what let me just leave it and get it off my mind today so i just head on to the fish place heading on to the fish place you know and get me some fish so I made me some curry salmon egg with some curry salmon slice. I never curried the salmon before, but I wanted a taste of curry today. I feel like it. And I also made me some wild rice. You know what I mean? So the wild, um, the wild rice, yeah, wild rice and the salmon. So I have that for go eat when I'm done. I really, my eye get better so I can move on to the sty because the doctor says it's going to work on this. He said, this is a simple thing. This don't need no surgery. He said, you just need an ointment to put the ointment in there all the time. And the ointment going to melt it right down with the hot water. But for now, I cannot do no hot water compress. So if you give him the medicine, it don't make no sense. I'd have to work on this first before I could start working on that. So God bless you. Thank you all. I'm working on things. Like I said, I went back there the day before yesterday. And I went back yesterday for them to see me again. And I told her, I saw the girl that do my eye. And I walk up to her and I said, look what you have done to me. And the place was full of people. And they wanted me to shut up. And I walk up to her and said, no, look what you have done to my face. You know? And so on, the lady was like, look, we're going to take care of all the bill and everything. Because I was coming from the hospital. She's like, we're going to take care of all of the bill and everything. So, you know? So I walk up because I know so me, I go back. 
And if I have to call 311, if I call to get a license or the place or whatever, somebody got to do something right because this is not right. And I get to find out a lot of people have been hurt. This one lady, I was so what happened to me? I was in the store talking to a lady and I was telling her. She said, oh my God, you went to that place? You know how much people they messed up in that place? Look at my hands. I went there for the lady to do my nail and she digged down my nail. was bleeding so much and my finger messed up my cuticle all knowing I grow back. And I was like, really? She said, yeah, they don't, I don't even think they like black people in there. I don't know why you go in there. They treat black people so bad when they go in there, but they want to act like they want to make money. You know, that's why I don't go there no more. Every, a lot of people don't go there no more when they find them out. I said, really? And the lady was like, yeah. She said, that's why you should have them pay for that shit. It's wrong. Because they've been doing wrong to people all along. They, you know, I go in there with my nails the other day, imagine. And I got my nails done because I don't use them like I used them before. It wasn't satisfying to me the way, you know. The woman cleaned the foot good better than the other place up full time. I must give that to you. When we really clean the foot, me have to sure how to clean my foot. Otherwise, she just back sick of water and if you dirt on my foot. Me say, no, clean the side of my foot. Them. Go deep and clean, dig out the side of them. And me told them, can't no whitey whitey sit and pack up my nail. Clean them out. When she do the good job, now me still give her $13 extra. Come on, what more can I fucking do? You know, me pay me full price and when I do my foot at $40. And me give her to that $53, just my foot alone. Then for do my nail. Sometimes it be like $80, this, that, that. Come on, you don't do that to your customer. You know what I mean? So, all along, I didn't know there was like that. And one of the places in Utah that don't like black people, period. And they're very nasty. When people go there and they don't know. So, it's a couple of them is still like that. Because the girl have a kind of resentment, like the same thing she have the day. Like, you know, she want to do me something. If I see her, she not no remorse to say sorry or nothing. She not nothing feel like, you know? Like, you know? Yeah. And still have the whole bunch of wax in a one container. When you go in there, I'm going to give you the address. And when you go in there, you look and see. And you're going to see the container with a whole bunch of wax. The amount of wax in there that now nah, done for a whole week. Or a two weeks, three weeks. There's no way you're going to use that much wax in one day. So the whole pile of wax, when they have with the two stick with wax, they put the two stick, they put on. And the same thing, them take up and do your eyebrow and put the wax on. And when somebody else come, them take it again, dip in the wax and put on it. So all my skin should dig off and put back in the wax and dig off. Yeah, you know I mean? I mean, that is so unsanitary. And that's why a lot of people say, a lot of people get messed up up there. You never know. I say, I never know because I just move back in this area. I never used to use them before. The last time the guy, when I go to my knee, I pass Nastron and go up a little bit more in Fulton. And the time I couldn't make it up there, I go by him. That's why I end up over here somewhere, you know. By going here, forget a feeling. Because the guy with my nail so nice. I go there, forget a feeling. Because I couldn't make it up there. And the man take the file and file on my nail them thin. You see them pointy and thin? Look on him, on the picture of the post. I him to do it. It pointy and thin and make the nail them so smaller than my natural nail. And file it down from where the other man do it. And do what him want for me. I say, no, no. I say, no. That's it. You know? When I look at the world, the side of them look nyam, nyam, nyam. You know, look neat like when nail just done. That's why I'm not deal with them no more. I look at them it's like, never again. And look what happened. The same day, I me, me go, I say, my finger broke. Because I say, I'm not going to walk up here, go get no feeling and do nail. I have to go to the regular place where I always go and do good up and full time. Very good place. For them, um, they all have good nail polish. The place where they have no good nail polish, I say to the man, where they say, oh, you're so cheap. You have to take liquid, like tin and sit and put on the old nail polish and shake them up on people's finger. And when they reach all queens, your nails are not dry yet. I want to take the train and reach Queens or Jamaica Avenue when I go to shop. My nail messed up. When I try to wool my nail messed up. Because the polish no good, it can't dry and put on the coat. And top of my do um um all forty dollar, thirty-five dollar for nail polish. You understand? And see a gel. I know gel. So look how ugly sitting. When you go up to the next place of full tennis, see real gel polish. Nice one. You can choose any color you want and then come out nice. All. And it's stay on to your nail. Boy, I may tell you these people are different, but guess what? If I miss it and come for frightening, well, me I go frighten him. So, me love you and God bless you. I'm here taking my antibiotics, me cook my food and so on. And, and so on. I have did some couple of videos on YouTube, um, Facebook and so Facebook Live. So, um, me we'll get them uploaded when we get some time. Right? And me talk to you again later. I love you. Me can't put on my pretty makeup and put on my wig and sit in there. Me can't put on, you know. That's going to be a process, you know. Because if we wait for the doctor say, You'll have to wait on the shit heal. And when it heal, ma'am is no telling what your eye is going to look like. That's why you have to see the specialist. Because you don't have any information on and eating. You don't have an antibiotic to help you until. Because what happened, it can lead up to problem later on down in life. So we want to make sure. That's why you need to see the specialist. I know you see me the doctor, but you still need a specialist. And remember, I went to the private doctor first. And the private doctor on the block said, he couldn't help me. I need to see something more specialist because the way it looked. 
So he sent me to Kings County. I went to emergency room and I saw my doctor. God bless him soul. I love him so much. And he's the one that gave me the um the shot before. The techno shot. So he said, I gave you a techno shot, you know? So you're, you're good with that because that lasts for 10 years. I did an HIV test before me did one now. So I mean, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't work. I mean, I do nothing either, you know? I just the thing, but I forget rid of this tire for my eyes. So once I get rid of get this rid of this one stand for all, I'm getting the insurance and get everything fixed. Alright? I love you guys. And so on and just just the way life is, man. Take it on some road sometime. You know the worry about bill now. What about my pain and suffering? I'm about how we pay the bill. What about my pain and suffering? What about me can't come on live and do more for the company to make me video and put them like a makeup and sit in them? Come on. Me up and down and spend money pan taxi all but if you call the taxi man and get a receipt for all of that, them taxi ride it too. When we used to the hospital back and forth, you know what I mean? Because a taxi me go one come every single time. You understand me? Yeah, but I love the guys, but I can't sit down like this when I see how my eye look. I couldn't sit down and home treat it. Because I was going to let it go and just treat my eye. Even though I think that my heart is not right. Not this is not right. This is not right. But when I wake up and see how my eye look, I come and answer. I couldn't stay in a moment. My eye feel like it's a rat and half. The eye start from so I'm sitting and it start to itch like magic and near my eye. The whole night I saw me stay in a emergency, even though I still have to do it. Because I can't itch the eye, but I have an antibiotic for my face, so I feel like do so. Put antibiotic so my face looks so shine. But I have no alternative but to put it on you, but I can't itch it. I can't itch the eye, but it itch a lot. So that's why the doctor said, take the Benadryl also for now. So the Benadryl, they may have feed pants, they don't me tell. The Benadryl, the antibiotic, and the antibiotic ointment. And that may have right now I use. And that may have right now I use for my eye and taking the pill. Them. So Monday morning, I'm back on it again. I'm looking after the insurance right now as we speak. So we get you by tomorrow or so or something. So everything is gonna be alright, guys. I got this in control. People can't be taking step of people and doing all kind of a madness. You know? You know? You think I'm gonna come and tell us they give me a certain amount of money while you can cheat money, you give me no. The bill has to be paid. Coming I mean, on insurance, I got Kings County. That means a big bill coming. You understand me, I say? So I want to get the insurance before I go to the arm um, specialist, it'll be good. You understand me? I love you guys and you know I'm just here and I'll talk to you guys later. I love you, man. I'm telling you, but this was some real shit. This was some real shit, my girl. See on my skin? The doctor says, not a sure thing your skin gonna come back. You might end up with a black, black spot there. Look like you have two eyebrows. That's why you have to take further steps.